Hello, everybody. Custard smugglers. What he said. Yes. Yes. That's that's why. Family, that's my new greeting now. I, why? I don't know. I just like the phrase. I, where are they smuggling it? Well, to somewhere that custard's illegal, obviously, otherwise it would, or, or heavily taxed. Because ah, otherwise, it wouldn't so, have to so smuggle egg it. Based desserts. Yeah. Some legal somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I suppose if it's bald egg. Veganton. Um, <laughs> Veganton. No. Possibly a place um, at some point. It sounds like a real place, to be honest, just by coincidence. <laughs> so. Oh, don't Google Veganton. Um, no, do. Hello. Dude. It'd probably just end up being a decent vegan uh, vegan food website, to be honest. Yeah. That's, <laughs> it, it, maybe, at worst, it'll be a bit preachy, you know? Yeah. Either that or it becomes one of the um, the more activist ones where they go, look, here's a picture of a sad cow being mutilated. <laughs> don't eat meat. How about you just don't mutilate cows? That'd the be... funny thing is, neither of us against veganism as a, as a concept. No, we're just against preachy arseholes. <laughs> yeah. That's... I mean, I, we have... And this is this is no, going to shock some no. people. We have eaten in a vegan calf together. So yeah, that... some vegan food is nice. Some yeah. vegan food isn't. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's food. I ain't vegan. Doesn't mean the food I'm not, doesn't mean I'm not going to eat nice things. <laughs> well, uh... well, you know, like when I ate at that not meat pizza. Yeah, it was the a not meat feast pizza, pizza which had meat feast pizza that had no meat in it, but you couldn't really tell. Yeah, and oh, to to be fair, that the the, the all day breakfast was pretty good as well. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't bad. I mean, to be fair, that bit wasn't vegan because I did have eggs. Because you <gasps> it was only choose. vegetarian. It yeah, was it's only a restaurant. Vegetarian. How restaurant dare I? with choices, the <gasps> bastards, <laughs> decadence. And they did some fucking baller smoothies. To be fair, yeah, milkshakes went up too much. No, I have to say. which is weird. I, I'm kind of surprising because you think either they'd be decent or they wouldn't do them because mm. everything else was high quality. It was weird. Yeah. Maybe they're just having an off day or something Maybe. weird. Maybe, but just, definitely you know. smoothies over the milkshakes because the, the milkshakes were a bit wank. Well, and I mean, I I, I personally uh, drink almond milk as opposed to you know almond milk's really fucking nice. I like almond milk. It's really no, no, good. Uh, almond milk's okay. I'm um, sorry. I was thinking of um, cashew milk because it's really that. it's really creamy. It's really oh. nice in tea. It's gonna ooh. I'm a, <laughs> I'm a big I'm a big proponent. What the fuck is this this playthrough <laughs> like, we quite like vegan stuff the, 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 but we also like bacon um yeah but uh, we really do like bacon like a lot get really nice to uh, get really nice tofu and wrap it in bake oh <gasps> we should do that heresy tasty tasty heresy, heresy. <laughs> we, should... <laughs> we could, sure, could call it the meat lovers I lament <laughs> i still love it outright when i'm some people, I know, just are continually surprised that there's such a thing as meat-free haggis. Haggis is 90% oats. Right? <laughs> <laughs> it's basically porridge in a bag. Yeah, it's basically a giant oaty sausage. <laughs> that, that's it. Yeah. You've got, it's basically, all you have to do is do a, a not-meat sausage casing, and you're pretty much there with a the vegetarian one. <laughs> Hells, it's probably vegan as well, just by pure coincidence. Because oats. Yeah. <laughs> oats are not friends. an animal. No, not cruelty three. You have to beat up the farmer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, deliberately. Because. Oh, yeah. Because someone follows a man of stick. Because haggis requires suffering. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's point out at this point that this, this series is not about the game. <laughs> it's never been about the, the game. The game is strange, disturbing, and full of thick people. <laughs> And then, they, and then we get turned up. Uh. 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 Shut up. You suck. I like the lone flower on that table. It that coffee sad. table that seems to have been stolen from a restaurant or cafe. Yeah, it is a bit low down. Why is it in a bedroom to start? Why is yeah, a coffee table in a bedroom? I, I'll, I'll be honest, I don't remember anything about this game right now. I cannot, if we're going to go on about things, the clock doesn't have any hands, the lamp is really up against the curtains, so it's probably leaning on them, and that is a weird way of having a pillow if you like, you know, not having a broken neck when you wake up. Well, I can, I can, I can see moving the pillow, but look at that blanket. 
there that's, is a perspective nightmare. That, that's not pulled over, is it? That's just no, really it, weird. <laughs> that's just really odd, isn't it? The pattern does not work. I mean, to be fair, the spots and the stripes, no. I well, mean, that's just a taste issue. That's not a um painful... Um, well, no, but the lime issue. green with the fuchsia pink is... <laughs> yeah I'm, I'm sorry i'm sorry you can't the, judge that and, and with the, and with that red and white stripy um table because why because why and then what i assume is meant to be a wooden bed but looks like it's made of chocolate um <laughs> Uh, and then, oh, a, no. cheap, do, do, then, then ever, a cheap chipboard and veneer. So. Yeah. Have you have you ever seen that 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 Japanese game show where they're just like, you gotta find the things that are made of chocolate in this room, and they're just like biting off door handles and stuff. It's really bizarre because they look like they're real. So. All right. Yeah. So, well, yeah. That's, you can, I've actually seen some quite impressive stuff done with um chocolate that way. Yeah. I, I mean, yeah. Absolutely. Because I I used to watch when I had TV. Um, because I don't, I now just watch my TV via the internet. Um, but when I had TV, I used to have all the cooking shows and all the weird kind of, let's make a cake that looks like an onion kind yeah. of shows. I, I used to like watching them because I'm a sad person who likes creative things. I, I'm, yeah, like the, the various, uh, what's it called now? Oh, the cooking channel and, yeah, the cooking channel's challenges and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, like cake and, then, and stuff and like that. And Ace of Cakes. I, I prefer Ace of Cakes because yeah, Cake Boss cake makes you want to punch the person who runs the place. Yes. Gonna, you're just a Wazzock. Go away. But he's, he's a Wazzock that does a lot for charity. So I'm yeah, kind of ambivalent, twa- to be I think fair. he could do a mm. He could do more for charity if he was less he, he could do a lot more for charity if you get my drift. <laughs> yeah. I do stuff for charity. Uh, yes, we do, compared to everything else, a pittance for charity. It just happens to be more than most people can afford in a year um, of, you know, not starving. So <laughs> so there was an episode on, you know, the couple of episodes back to back, which entirely about him making stuff for his own kids. I, presumably can, see makes him why, go, I can see why you would. Oh, you would as well. Yeah, but the amount of time you. they put on it, it's kind oh, of... Oh, I just thought of a cool Oh, kid. his kids were so spoiled. Yeah, but I just thought of your kid. God, what? that's terrible. If My you kid? had a yeah, if you had a kid, I don't have a kid. It'd be dead. <laughs> You're taken away because <laughs> it was it smell. So true. I just imagine dyeing the child green so I can pretend they're a goblin. Isn't that how you live your life anyway? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I thought so. We should actually do something like... Yeah, we should like, maybe click a button or something. Yeah, why? It doesn't do anything. Why? If we click a button, it'll just get worse. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't know how we've been doing it for like 10 minutes, I'm sure. He's just... I don't no, wanna... Just keep talking until the episode runs out and we've done nothing. <laughs> <laughs> what, you mean compared to clicking the button and still have ended the episode doing nothing? Yeah. Well, we've kind of only recently got past the prologue, to be fair. So, yeah, we're, but we're at then, 9% then, of he likes Then us. the introduction after the prologue. Because, oh, God. What has happened in this? We met a lot of creepy people and and we've decided we like them for some reason. Well, we have li- we like the creepy fashion designer. Well, no, we don't, really. Why are no, we in this No, we have to hotel? do someone. I, I think this is meant to be our house. Oh, which God, we have terrible is, is a, taste. Which apparently is a 90s bed and breakfast that has never been redecorated. Okay. And I couldn't believe my own luck. Why? On the day I, found, I had my first kiss, I found out the man I was kissing was married. Okay. I mean, that's not really luck. I mean, it's bad luck, but... After a few days after my brillic plastic surgery debut, I'd become a... Che- what, um, that's not how it works. <laughs> you no, haven't done anything. You're not the cheater in this scenario. That would be him. Yeah. You're just Helms and, and his and his fiance because I don't think they're actually married, were they? His fian- no. Fiance actually said that she's fine with it. She just wants him to actually come home in the evening. Yeah. So. Oh, you no, know, you're not dead. That'd be nice. That'd be nice because if you are also, dead, then I have to figure out a way to get your business. Also, to, if you don't. My name. <laughs> Also, if you don't come, actually live at the address, you know we um get have tax problem. So yeah, okay. That's, so you're not a cheater. Ha! Huh. 
I just want to crawl into a hole and die. Oh, finally we agree on something. Oh, good. No, then the end the game quickly. Done. <laughs> yes. Game ends. <laughs> I didn't know where to start. I had we'll find a hole. That'd be a good start. He had a plethora of mistresses. I like that word. Plethora. Yeah. And his sister's death was also suspicious. No, it wasn't. She... Just know that she died. <laughs> that's, that's not suspicious. suspicious. That's well, just a thing occurred. Oh, I'm suspicious of this. Well, Why? The only thing you've got to be suspicious of is he took you to a hospital where he does lots for disadvantaged and cancerous children. So the only and thing and as, should... as people did point out in, in the comments, he asked someone who he knew had an incurable disease if she was feeling better. <laughs> I didn't even notice that. It's gonna. Oh, you fucking bastard! <laughs> Child knifes him with a scalpel she's got <laughs> somewhere. The thing is, people really don't need that, know how to talk. I mean, I've I've dealt with. Like, Bobby's face to a sharp's box. I've, I've <laughs> dealt with terminally ill children before, so. Well, you, were they terminally ill before you got to them? Or... Shh, that's a secret. Um, so so sometimes I'm just like, are you feeling better? Yeah, I'm having a good day. So I can understand it on a kind of a. On a, you can usually tell when terminally ill children are having a good day is they're in school. Yeah. If they're having a bad day, they're yeah. not in school. They're having a good day. They've left. They've been able to get out of bed and they may be smiling. Yeah. I mean, the worst one for me was a child that was um, terminal after the age of, I think, like 20, 25-ish usually. Yeah. And um, he wanted to be a doctor so he could help people like him live longer. And I'm just oh. like... Oh, and he was really smart. He was like like a really, really clever kid. So you just think, you have a shitty lot in life and I hope you do what you need to do, kid. Mm. Good for you. Well, that's depressed everyone. Um, yeah, sometimes children are good. Um, I, um. I actually, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm going to go on one of my little soapbox rants. Um, people assume that kids are shits. And and that annoys me. I mean, I know you don't like children, but that's not nah. because you think kids are shits. No, it's just I don't like children. Yeah, that's, I mean, I do like children. I don't want one, but I like them. And I believe that they have <laughs> the ability to do really cool fucking shit. So, you know, big up to the children out there. If you're watching... Why are you watching this? If you're Bad. watching this, your parents are not very good. <laughs> if you're watching this, your parents <laughs> are terrible. Sorry. <laughs> Okay. Go to your room. And if you're already in your room, go to a different room. Go to the room and watch this in front of your go parents. Your, go Make to your them parents' fans room. fans too. Go to your parents' room and just stare at them. Yes. Particularly always useful if you're, if you're like three inches away from them and they're yeah. asleep and just wait yeah. there until they wake up. You can hold that, that, that pose for hours until they wake up. Mm. I mean, if you're kneeling on the floor, it usually helps. Okay, and oh, hello, kitty. You've decided to come be a tiny arsehole. Okay. Um, anyway. Oh. No. Oh. Still, the smile he had at the hospital was divine. Uh, divine meaning godly of some description. That's just creepy. It's just creepy. I wanted to believe he was different from Ishiro. Okay. Yes. Yes, he's a different person. Yes. <laughs> Not the same. Not to mention he'd be a little rough when he tried hitting on me. And maybe rough? Not... Do you mean rough? Rough. Um, um, does she mean as in not as... I think not... he was a little bit rough. Not like um, like terribly rough, but kind of like a... There was a squeezing involved. If was I there? Was I think so. I remember him putting... Uh, putting... You know, giving her shoes. Oh, no, there was a slap. And really obviously having a foot fetish. Yeah. Um, it made my heart race, but was it all part of his plan? Yes. Probably. That's, that's generally, <laughs> to be honest, if he's hitting on you and he's, and you're reacting in a way that, that it's positive, then it's, it's probably at least tan, tan, tangentially part of his plan. Um, yeah. Either way, I wanted to know the truth. Stalking it you is. Can't, you can't handle the truth. I couldn't help fixate my thoughts on him. Now that it had come to this, I had to investigate the manor thoroughly. Go through his bins. So my stalking mission began. No, this was a simple background test. Go through his bins. I just needed to see if Maguru was a suitable person to be my boyfriend. I perfected my disguise with sunglasses and a hat, considering he's 
really obsessed with how good your body looks. Yeah. I feel like he would notice. Also, because we've apparently given got no money whatsoever, I assume we're apart from the hat and sunglasses wearing exactly the same clothing as before. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> and the, the response of, you're kidding me, right? <laughs> I spotted Maguru right away. Then he spotted me, and then we spotted each other. I silently hid in the shadows and started observing him. I could hear someone's phone rigging. Was it, it was twice. mine. Crap. <laughs> Shit. Was it, was it Maguru? Hello, this is Maguru speaking. Yes, I see. I'm on my way. Oh, sad face. Sad face. Maguru mm. quickly jumped into his car. That put paid to my mission of stalking for one day. Because I don't have a car. I need to continue following him, but things just got more complicated. At this Damn, rate, I forgot they might be able to move faster than me at some time. <laughs> at this rate, I was going to lose sight of Maguru. What should I do? Uh. <gasps> Follow that car! Follow that car, driver. taxi! Just, just an excuse to do that. <laughs> you know? I raised my hand and hopped into the taxi that stopped for me. Follow the car! No! Follow that car! There's no time to explain. I spat out that famous line! But you got Follow wrong. the car in front of me! It's not a famous line. And began tailing Maguru. Finally. Mm. I'd arrived at the hospital Maguru had taken me to the other day. Hid behind the nearby, te nearby telephone pole. What? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Is there one inside? What? I Did... think so. And started my investigation. I fixed my eyes on Maguru. It's been a while. <laughs> I don't... Oh, Mr. Yakushi, thank you so much for your generous patronage again this year. No, it's nothing. I just wanted to make one of the events from my sister's case to be repeated. She's been gone <laughs> for almost three years, hasn't she? Gone for three years? Dead. Dead. She's dead. It finally yeah. sunk in. His sister had really died. Why would someone lie about this in the middle of an argument? Yeah. I... Mm, mm. We did a terrible thing during your sister's stay here. I wish we could have done more. Or more terrible things. Yeah. I, that's, I, that's what that sounds like. This seems like a lawsuit waiting to happen somehow. Yeah, yeah. Why hasn't this happened? Oh, yeah, we were definitely culpable for a, for a death. <laughs> hey, where are you now? <laughs> now yeah. Would you like to say this into my recorder? <laughs> they meet my lawyer. <clears throat> there wasn't any sort of treatment for her disease. I know you did your best. I know you did your best to accelerate her condition so she didn't have to die and suffer, hopefully. Maguru, he looks so sad. He looks like he's got wind. He looks like he's forgotten something. He's going, How did I, where did I put my keys? <laughs> you know, he looks like, is, is that a shit or a fart? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> I realised this was the reason why he contributed to this hospital. Why, why would the why, uh, gosh. Why, why did that happen? I don't know. <laughs> no, why, did, why, did that, why did the transition occur? Nothing changed. <laughs> After a while, the head doctor <laughs> left and a nurse showed up in his place. Oh, Mr. Yakushi. Mm -hmm. I didn't know you were here. The nurse started hugging Maguru. <clears throat> what was going on here? No. I wasn't going to jump to any conclusions just yet. It's one of his floozies. I continued watching the two of them. That's a very passionate way to say hello. Have you been sleeping well lately? I always worry about you. What about you? Is your brother still sick? After I visited <laughs> him. He's doing better now. His surgery went on without a hitch, thanks to your donation. It was thanks to his donation. Yes, that's what she said. What was going on here? He's donating money! To get poor people operations. Because I'm assuming Japan does not have a national health service. I think it might do, though. Yeah, I thought it did. I thought, I thought, you know. Yeah, it makes it. No, I don't believe that they don't. Are you Googling? Uh, uh, pay no uh, attention to the typing in the corner. Da, 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 da. <laughs> 
Yeah, no. All right, the, the patient takes 30% of the costs, whilst the government pays the remaining 70%. So it's subsidised rather than... Than free. Okay. Yes, yeah, so they get a universal healthcare insurance system. Right. Yes, yeah, so it's just handled by the government, but they only pay 30%, and ensure patients are responsible for paying 100% of their medical fees. Ooh, okay. How can you be not... If it's a universal insurance system, how can you not be insured? Um, oh, fees are waived for low-income low income houses, households. Oh, nice. So, so, also for homeless people. It's, it's like the system they have in America, but only compassionate. Oh, it varies. You can get 10, 20 or 30% of medical fees, depending on, well, how much money you, you your income. Okay, that's not terrible. You get money off for old age as well. Well, it says depending on old income and old age. I assume you, get, you pay less if you're older. Rather than say, nope, you're old, pay more. You're old. You've either well, got to well, pay what you owe us in like five minutes or you die. That's that's how it works. Anyway. Uh, Japanese get... outcomes for high-level medical treatment is generally competitive with that of the US. Yes, so is everyone's. The US system isn't actually that good. good. Uh, no, it's <laughs> something... Mm. Yeah, anyway. Yeah, let's go, let's go back to, to, to something that's less political. Yeah, stalking. Oh, yeah, stalking. Let's political. Go. That's you, by the way. If you ever have any problems at home or at work, you can always talk to me about it. And then we'll back. <laughs> Thanks. This is on my way. The nurse puckered up her lips and waited for a kiss. I couldn't believe it. It looked like this nurse was one of his mistresses. That was it for me. I'd received all those experience points, but got a game over before I could reach the final stage. Maguru went to the walls of the reception, set, reception desk as I pondered my thoughts. Oh, he did kiss her then, he just walked off. <clears throat> uh, I think so. That guy that came guy. to... Oh, okay, you do it. Well, you know, you do nurse A, I do nurse B. Okay, that fine. guy came to me. Yeah, I tried to get him to kiss me, but he totally rejected me. I'm just not a model. Oh, you're so scandalous. Nurses started to group together. Uh, uh, it's a flock up, up, of up, up, nurses. Up, up. Some, what, is there some chocolate around the area? Look, I, I worked in a hospital. I know what happens if the uh, <laughs> chocolate... The, if, ah, the so ones doing the night shift, right? And the chocolate vending machines break, all hell breaks loose. So so breaks nurses loose. and teachers are the same, then? Pretty much. Teachers just go... Oh, I, think nurse, I think nurses are kind of more so. They probably, <laughs> probably need the sugar more, to be honest. I'll, I'll, I'll be <laughs> honest. With, with teachers, it's cake in the staff room. There is, there's cake in the staff room in my school at least once every three days. I, if with, with nurses, right? If you want to get past a, a flock of nurses, just throw some more teasers down the corridor in the opposite direction and run. <laughs> oh, they don't have more teasers in America. That's weird. That's weird. This is a Nestle product. I know, but they don't have them. And I, I've asked a couple of people now, and they said, "What's more teasers?" And I'm just like, "Oh my god, really?" That's, That's weird because I would have thought they'd be quite popular. Because yeah. more teasers are awesome. Maybe you have, to have, to have to have decent chocolate on it. Ah. <laughs> they all started behind a pole and staring at, stared at Maguru, much like I was doing. Where are these poles and why are they inside? Why are they in the waiting room? And also, how do you hide that many people behind a pole? How big is this pole or how tiny are the nurses? We were doing, all doing the exact same thing, but what was up with them? Then the pole walked off because it was an immigrant. Ah. Get it? So Polish yeah. guy. Yeah, I'm ignoring you. Um, terrible. Pun. That's why I was ignoring you. Um, I feel so bad for him because his sister passed away. That makes my vagina wet, apparently. I want to comfort seems to be the effect on everyone else. I want to comfort him with it gently, with his head on my chest. That's and a then... bit specific. That's. Is it, is it motorboating or is it? <laughs> oh, I'm not sure. Me too. Yeah, but he would find it terrible to have do it both at the same time. Then again, you can't even motorboat two people at once, really. You no. Can, you can kind of, but not really. You know, it can basically if they're very close together. It's, and you it's just like kind of... playing a xylophone at that point. You just you just get them as you go. Your past. face. Yeah. 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 You just kind of swing from one, swing from one to the other. Yeah. Kind of thing. What was going on? Were they members of the Yakushi Maguru fan club or something? Pretty much. Yeah. Either way, they were sympathising with Maguru. And nurses. Um, that's kind of <laughs> they sympathise with everyone who suffered ever. 
It's going to build Oh, in. no, no. Some nurses, fucking battle axes. They're just, Only just on like, the outside. Just stop. Oh, you mean, you mean um, department heads and stuff like that? Yes, specifically yeah. department heads. Yes. Just See you later. complaining. Maguru left the hospital. I panicked and quickly followed him. However, on his way back home, a young girl called out to him. Oh my God, like this, a long time no see, Maggie Poo. It, it was a gaudy college girl, therefore I'm assuming, yeah. Nicole. Yeah. How have you been? <clears throat> yeah, it's a long time no see. What have you been up to? I obviously don't remember your name. I'm studying for my exams, like best just like you told me to do my best just like you told me to and stuff yes, like that. Yes, she used to be one of the kids in the hospital. I I would imagine so. Make sure you put in the effort <laughs> for it. You need a job on it at any time. <laughs> I, I have a club <laughs> which has poles needing people on it. Who was that college student? She didn't seem like his mistress so maybe he was like a big brother to her? After yeah, that, I thought that might happen. Tra scene transition to the same scene. <laughs> After that, he fled with a receptionist, a policewoman, a mixed game. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so either weirdly hung up on race. Uh, oh, or... Japanese. That is, yeah, that's. Or is it that's... Korean? I'm not it's sure. It's set if in Japan, Japan, isn't it? I thought it's it was set in Japan. Japan. I, so... I, I do know that. Well, at least I'm informed, and I don't know how reliable this is, that there are race issues in oh, Japan. Oh, yeah, Japan's massively xenophobic. Um, they've got signs outside clubs saying no foreigners and stuff like that, which translates into English very poorly. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, so, mm, a mixed girl, a soon-to-be idol. See, this... for some reason, when I say mixed girl, I just imagine that she's somehow... It's made of Skittles. I don't know why I think that. It's just... I, I, I worry about you. <laughs> she's made of oh, she's made of Skittles and M and M's, and oh, all the S's, just S's have come off, so you can't tell which one's which. <laughs> oh, I saw I saw a, a thing, a prank. It's it's a, a bag of Skittles, Reese's Pieces, and M and M's all mixed up into one bowl. Yeah, that's evil. That is evil, and whoever did that should be impressed. Or proud. One of the two. Yeah. Words they, got mixed they're up They're impressed there. themselves, and they're probably a bit smug. So. Everyone's a bit smug. It's just varying levels. This just went on and on. He talked to 14 different girls. He was even more of a playboy than Ichiro. How do you know that? You don't know how many girls Ichiro banged. Yeah. Not, not to mention, he promised to give them all money. I sighed and wondered if I should call it quits. But I decided to stick with it and finish what I'd started. I was still hoping Maguru had a good reason for all of this. Flirting is fun. Yeah. Also, massively rich. So yeah. handing out money to people who aren't is easier. Um, yeah. It's gonna. Well, I've got plenty of money. I don't. That's, if you need a fiver, you know. So. It's fine. Yeah. I wanted to understand the circumstances around his promises. Maguru had finished his business and went to, back inside Jaja de Brand's store. I entered the store and hid behind the... I just love how terrible these outfits are. <laughs> I, know, so I know nothing to do. They're not exactly high fashion. Let's, let's no. just say. There's a, a, a woman wearing a wife beater and a skirt. Yeah. You know, it's just like... And the world's most poorly tailored suit. <laughs> I, just love my, I know I've said it before, but the, that, <laughs> that mannequin looks like it's slumped forward, like it's depressed. Well, it's oh. because it's... It's because the, the way they, it's because of where they've put the, the yeah the, the, the top of the torso is leaning forward slightly. You can tell where the head's tilted, and also the way they've shaded the middle. <laughs> I'm sad now. I <laughs> entered the store and hid behind the racks of clothes as I searched for Maguri. I spotted him right away. However, I had a very bad feeling. Standing next to him was a gorgeous model. She's having an out of body experience. <laughs> ah. Mr. Yakushi, you haven't been stopping by recently. Sorry, to make it up to you, I decided to dress for you the next time we announce a new product. There she was, his 15th girl. He's not done anything. He's just been slightly flirty and then given money to people who presumably needed it because we haven't been given many contacts apart from the one person he agreed to. That mannequin is ridiculously to. tall. Yeah. And his elbow is halfway through. That is just stupid. Not to mention she had a sexy body. 
that was as attractive as mine. I wonder if she spent the same amount on it. It turns out you went to the same person. <laughs> it's just it got a big stamp that just could you know, put a of clay in and you go, and that's not, that's how they make the body. Sure, not sure that's how, how plastic surgery works, but okay. Yeah, um, at least they use play doh. Obviously, <laughs> industrial obviously. strength play doh. I've seen what the kids do with play doh. Don't, don't, don't knock the strength of play doh. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. Were all these women the mistresses Saki had mentioned the other day? No, you t- No, no, no. Those are other women. Han thought Maguru was this popular with the ladies. He's rich, he's attractive, and he's actually quite Outgoing, hard. yeah. And outgoing, yeah. I decided to give up and go home, but before that, I planted a listening... What? Where did you get a listening device from? <laughs> Could have at least mentioned it. would be nice if there's a little sub game where you have to go and get a good one or yeah. something without anything, without, you know, getting arrested or something. I planted a listening device. It was the only logical thing for a stalker to do. I planted a small device that when I pressed the button would make farting noises. I would ruin his career with this. <laughs> oh, his model started to fart down the runway. It was, <laughs> uh, it was hilarious. I made use of the skills that Detective had taught me. What? I thought he's talked to you for about 10 minutes. And put the device in a corner of the store. So you can hear the corners. Corner. Yeah. Perfect. I made sure it's set up properly and made my way out. However, I unexpectedly knocked over a... Because oh, uh, I'm slightly klutzy. Because I'm I always slightly have... klutzy because clumsy is a personality trait for people who don't have a personality. Yeah. I crashed onto the floor. What was that noise just now? I feared that Maguru was going to find me. Mr. Yukushi, what's wrong? The store employees who'd noticed the sound started to gather around the mannequin. I... Sounds like they're confused rather than helpful. It's kind of gathering around and going, it fell over? Why would it fall over? Why is falling over a thing? Mannequins can't move. They can't be moved by any force known to man. <laughs> I was in fucking trouble. weirdos. What was I going to do? Even more people were coming this way. What should I do? Act normally since you're in disguise. A crap disguise, from what she, how it's been described. <laughs> but how it actually works in universe, who knows? Act, act normally since you're yeah. in disguise. I'm in disguise, so I should just say calm. I left the area and looked at some of the new clothes. <clears throat> I started to panic. Maguru was staring in my direction. But I was safe, right? I was just another customer. Casually started heading for the exit. Phew, that was a close one. Took off my hat and sunglasses after exit the store. Did, did, now you wait to get home, you pillock. Just Or then. down the corner, at least. Jesus Christ. She's not good at this, is she? No. Ah. Roxy. Maguru? Here, yeah, had he seen everything just now? It's all you take all your stuff off. Yeah. Oh, Maguru, wow, what a coincidence seeing you here. Outside the front of the plot, your property. Mm. I never thought I'd see you in front of my store. This must be destiny. No. I, um, why? <clears throat> no. Destiny? Yeah, it's almost like he's got a weird fixation on you already. Yes. I kept thinking I'd see you numerous times throughout the day. Okay. My mind must have been playing tricks on me because I'd missed you so dearly. Oh, please don't do the whole stalking is good thing. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, don't reward her for being creepy. Maguru started hugging me, even though we were in the middle of the street. I was again, shocked. Again, Japanese, so, you know. Mm, maybe. My heart was racing. I knew I was going to slip up if I said anything and decided to stay quiet. <laughs> You're so quiet today. I froze up. Maguru no. started to smirk at me, because that's his default expression. <laughs> that's his only face. So, does that mean you've decided to become my lover? Huh? Not here. No, not, not right now. It's a bit public. Was this some sort of misunderstanding? Even though we were in public, Maguru held on to me without a care in the world. It's basically which guy saying, fancy a shot? Basically, yeah. Rocks. He traced my cheek with this finger and he whispered my name. Mm. Quickly gained my composure again. I'm sure he said those same things to all the other girls too. Probably. You want to sex me? Yeah. When I thought about it like that, I left a bad feeling in my stomach. I'm sorry. I pushed Maguru back. Okay, rough. 
At top speed, I ran away as quickly as possible. Probably in high heels, so it's not very, very high speed. It, de it depends on if you're good at them. I've seen some yeah. women in heels just go like the clappers. Not me, because heels are prison. <clears throat> they just are. I hate them. I'd gotten away. And I was such an idiot. Kids. These things are both true. Yes. Did he really have a harem of mistresses? Yes. If it worried me that much, I should have just asked him in the first place. He probably would have answered you fairly accurately from what you've already seen. You can't yeah. really deny it. No. Then again, there was no way I could ask him something like that. Because... Yeah, there is. You're sleeping around, mate. But Maguru looked so gentle when he talked to all the other women. He didn't like he was in love either. Yeah, because you need love for sex. Yeah. I pondered yeah. for a bit. Why did he go around giving all of them money too? Maybe they were prostitutes in disguise. Who knows? I knew what I needed to do. I'll investigate every little aspect until all of Maguru's secrets have been revealed. And everyone passes by just looking at it going, what? Why are you, what you, why are you talking to yourself that loudly in the middle of the street? Likeability, 15%. I, I disagree. <laughs> well, to be fair, we are going through the chapters like fast. Yeah, the chapters do seem to be quite short, which makes sense when there's a billion of them. Yeah, and our likability is going up relatively quickly. So, yeah, that worries me. I would have thought we'd be going down with what we're doing, but hey-ho. Chapter four, for a lovely woman's smile. Stocking is love. <laughs> Can take this woman's smile and mount it on my wall. I was writing in my stalking journal. <laughs> <laughs> it's got that written on the front, has it? Yeah, my stalking journal, no looking. With little hearts and pictures of unicorns and all the, uh, the, eye, the dots over every eye is a little heart. Yeah. And and they're actually supposed to thanks with an X. <laughs> Look in my stalking journal again today as I went to Zsa, Zsa Japan. Oh, you take it with you? Okay. That makes sense. I saw a familiar person there too. Oh, a person who possibly owns it as well. That's, that makes sense. Yeah. Please rethink the apparel arrangements because she's generic. Um, yeah, you're, you're generic foreign. Foreign, yeah. foreign, yeah. <laughs> it was Maguru's terrifying fiancé, Saki. She's so terrifying because she once saw her angry, not yes. at you. There are only three days left until the viewing party. Let's get to work. No, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. It'll be so oh. picturesque when Mr. Yakushi escorts Saki to it. No. What, what was that? <laughs> Shorten your shoes, Governor. <laughs> Shut up. You do all the voices then if you're going to be a picture. <laughs> there was going to be a view. Sorry, I just didn't know that um they um hire that high end fashion boutiques hired nineteenth uh, century Cockney boot blacks. <laughs> <laughs> well, now you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a well, viewing party, and Maguru is going to be all escorting sake. What? You were just about to say something. What is it? Oh, I was about to say that you know this. Well, no one has their shoes shined anymore, so I guess they've got to find work somewhere. Let's start... Hang on. Let's start our rehearsal for the party. Oh, everyone gets smashed! Yes, ma'am! Saki and the rest of the female staff members went quickly back to work. The male ones hung around? I mean... I guess so. <laughs> it's just... Because it, it sounds like they should be doing something different. Or, if there aren't any, why did you specify? <laughs> I checked my confidential investigation notebook. That's on the second page. Confidential investigation notebook. No peeking. As I flipped through the pages, I heard something rustling. Was there something moving around on the floor? Snake! 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 I took a look. Eek! Snake! There was a shiny black blob on the floor. It was most definitely... A cockroach. I thought they were brown. Uh, hey, can you get those papers for me? Yeah, here you go. <laughs> I just, I just, just imagining the staff in this place. Six-year-olds, <laughs> Cockney boot blacks, and northern farmers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid that the staff members would notice the cockroach. It was a top-of-the-line pest. Maguru's reputation was at stake, so I needed to do something. An okay, idea popped into my head. Yeah. 
I pulled out a smoke pesticide from my... St what? Where do you have that in your stalking? Is that going to be like a smoke bomb or what? Because you throw it down and run away. So you, so you throw it down and you disappear like a ninja. It's like a shit ninja. Like a shit ninja. <laughs> Put out smoke pesticide from my stalking goods bag. It comes from from Dick's stalking goods supplies. Um, I assume every stalking goods supplies is called Dick's. Well, it's only Dick's shop there. Basically. It's not run by someone called Dick. It's just <laughs> everyone who it's shops just... there is one. Yeah, and it's just like every every bag has a giant penis on the front, just so people know. I know it's just the logo. Um, it actually it's just the silhouette looks like a penis, but it's actually a quite a complicated arty logo, so you don't notice it at first. And you've been walking around with a bag for half an hour. <laughs> oh, if I ever run a shop, um, <laughs> it's meant to be someone waving, but it's actually just looks like a like a willy that lists on the side. Yeah. I pulled out a smoke pesticide from my stalking goods bag and set it up in the bathroom. All I had to do now was wait. What? A oh, right. You're trying to... What? A fume of smoke started to rise. There was a lot more than I'd expected. Just <laughs> then, the fire alarm went off and echoed loudly through the entire building. And I started to panic. What well, that was, was the I plan. Gonna, what, what was I going to do? Leave? Yeah. Eek, is there a fire? Calm down, everyone. Entire store was in a panic. The smoke continued to fill the building. The white fog was everywhere. I wasn't sure what to do. What? I don't know what she intended to do to begin with. Is she trying to kill them with the pesticide? At which point well, is this what she was intending to do? And also staying there with my killer? Um, depending on the pe We don't use these in the UK, no. so... Surprisingly. Poison gas um, isn't generally easy to get hold of. Um, um, we can get little little kind of aerosol sprays, but they're not really used in the same way. Well, quietly endure, it seems ridiculous. Throw the pestle aside away. We'll not stop the smoke. No. Smoke Let's put it in a bin. To... That'll make it disappear. Smoke expands to fill the shape of its container because it's gas. Well, it's not smoke, to be fair. No, so it's... it's a lot of crap. Basically, no. It's just part. It's just a solid it's bouncing on the air. Yeah, yeah. It's a lot of crap. Yeah, yeah. It's a lot of crap in the air. That's okay, basically what it is. Leaving without picking it up because we can at least kill the cockroach. I thought that was the plan. So did I. I know. It, it's kind of good that the the smoke did come out in the rest of the place because otherwise you would hope that the cockroaches only go in the bathroom. Yeah, this was my fault. This had happened. Yes, but. <laughs> but what? <laughs> There wasn't anything I could do. The smoke was too thick now. I fought through the smoke and left without pick up picking up the pesticide. It would be fairly obvious who placed it down if you walked out with it. Yeah. Now I've done it. Firefighters had showed up as well. What had I done? Employees in the building ran outside in a panic. I started to get anxious. If Saki saw me, things were getting even worse. Leave! <laughs> I... What the hell is going on? <laughs> I needed to hide myself for the time being. I decided to lurk in the building's shadow. Oh, fuck. <laughs> right, Nick. He just happens to be in the shadow as well. It's going to... Oh. Yeah, Roxy. Yeah? Couldn't believe it. I'd stumbled upon a different person that I didn't want to see. I apologise, my stories. Creating all of this ruckus. No, no, don't apologise, because that's totally my bad. Felt so guilty because the culprit to this crime was none other than myself. Who were you telling? We were there! Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is, I don't understand what's happening. <laughs> why? I understand the sequence of events. I just don't understand why they're happening. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was all me, Rog Roxy McTuff, that I'd forgotten that one. Well, the, the air fell off, didn't it? So. Yeah, the air fell off. Guilty as charged. This is, this is a bit troubling. We won't be able to get anything done like this. <laughs> oh, who I know. Roxy, do you have some free time after this? What, after the... the, the... After, after the... How long do you think this is going to take? Because you don't know what happened. Yeah. Uh, do you mean now, or what? If you'd like, why don't you come with me and have some tea? Huh? <laughs> Bull? Was he inviting me on a date? Of that, he's just asking you for tea. Yeah, of... or, yeah, that's the other option. Yeah. Would you like to have some tea? Yeah. 
Okay. I enjoy your company. I also like tea. Would you like to have tea with me at the same time? Good. Assuming you like tea. That means we could have two tea. things that we both find enjoyable at the same time. Can I, can I also point out, if after a date, someone who is inviting you in for coffee, yeah, yeah you know, sexy yeah. times are usually on the table. Yeah. So for, um, but, well, but, it's actually the table. Well, it doesn't have to be the table. Sometimes it's the settee. Depends um, on the table, really. Yeah, and it depends if they've got roommates. Cause, you know. And shackles. Mm. Um, Just, it depends. How, however, it. however, if your elderly aunt asks you in for coffee, not a good time. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she just knows you like coffee. You know, it's huge yeah, judgment. <laughs> oh, I see. Trousers off. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> That's not how you stir it. <laughs> we use spoons in this ass. Oh. Is that how you're hideously burnt? <laughs> Someone trying to stir a cup with their penis. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Why did I think this was a good idea? Oh, God. Okay. Okay. Right. Come on, let's go. Oh, I know. We could even go to the cafe you work at. That way the, that way the artists won't have to make another background. <laughs> Fucker. True, but you're a silly yeah. fucker. Well, for the fact we've been on the same street for every single event. <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> McGurry pulled me in the hand forcefully. And when we left, I, I, I read that as penises. Um, <laughs> as we left the penises. <laughs> penises. Just hover penises outside the shop. Well, that's, well maybe they had to also... get all the bags out. So, yeah. Dick so, so they've got hover penises to hang everything on and they take it out. Oh, well, the fire brigade used a series of hover penises as a ladder. <laughs> <laughs> as we left the penises. I guess I'll have some coffee. That's Andy, this is a coffee shop. Well, considering he said, do you want to get tea? And he says, I'll have some coffee. Do you want some you tea? I'll have coffee. There, Roxy. Fuck you. <laughs> Over there, it's kind of, at least be consistent. <laughs> yeah, me Why too. Why is that plate on the shelf an oval? I still felt a little uncomfortable because of the fire alarm incident. Oh, that's right. Fire. Did you get caught up in the fire a moment ago? Maybe we should have seen if you'd had any problems of smoke inhalation. Huh? It wouldn't like that there was any serious damage, but... <laughs> but... I couldn't believe he brought it up. It was completely my fault, after all. Should I confess and honestly tell him what happened? Eh. Uh... No. Then, I t again, if I told him, he'd get suspicious. I felt so guilty saying silent. I decided to tell him because I'm a twat. Why don't we have a choice over this? Because this was literally a decision. Yeah. I was the one who caused it. I am the phantom br uh, brassiere <laughs> arsonist. Or whatever. What? I, don't, I just dislike poorly no. made clothes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Let me mithraid it. Twas I destroyed <laughs> the beast. <laughs> Was I destroyed Dion collection? I went to your store and seen a cockroach. I set up a smoke pesticide to get rid of it. It all had been in good intentions. I'm just an idiot. You're just insane, apparently. Just, I don't know how this works. So you didn't mean to harm anyone after cockroaches. Because, of course, if you see one, there's a lot more. Yeah, well, that's how cockroaches work. Yes, my house is pretty old, so I always use pesticide when I see bugs. Any bug, just one bug of any variety. One ladybird gets in, gas the house. <laughs> I was so sure Maguru was going to hate me. <laughs> you said the funniest things. Huh? Maguru was cracking up. You really are different from the other girls I've met. You're so lovely. They're all assholes. I was utterly confused. I think Whoa. we all were. You don't hate me? Of course not. It is to protect my company's reputation. I felt so relieved. So, why do you carry poison gas with you? I told you, because my house is infested with bugs. Just that's why I take it out on the street. Shouldn't you leave it in the house, then? It... Details. <laughs> but isn't it hard? Living in a place <laughs> infested with bugs. Not as much as you think. <laughs> I could help you out a little if you'd like. No! Mm. <laughs> if you were 
if you had an extra ten thousand dollars a month, I'm sure you could find a better room. Yes. Yes. If, okay. If, yeah, that that'd be definitely be true. Yes. That, yes, that is that a fact. Is true. That, yes. That is. <laughs> just. This is an, fuck, as, that's an undeniable fact. Yes, if you gave me pretty much a year's worth of salary every month, yes, that would make me get a better room to sleep in. Huh? Did he oh? just say $10,000? Couldn't have possibly accept that much money from you. It was unbelievable. Had Maguri simply given those other women money like this? Probably. You needn't be so reserved. No, not getting taking ten thousand dollars is not being reserved. No, oh, that's going. What are you fucking with, man? I wouldn't mind giving you a huge sum of money if you needed it. No, Maguru, that's not what I meant. We need to get married first. That's how it works. That way, I get half the money. Do you go around <laughs> telling other people the same thing you just told me? Yes, I do. I'm fantastically rich, and well. I'm not going to use it. He replied immediately. I love seeing beautiful women smile. Of course, whether you see this as a good thing or a bad thing is kind of subjective, really. Mm. Oh, I'm giving this to you because you've got a real lovely smile. Oh, it's not because of anything I've done then. No. You patronising prick. <laughs> I'd give any amount of money to see a lovely girl smile, as long as she needed it. The smile or the money? No, they're not. I <laughs> think you needed that smile. Yeah. Any amount of money? Yes, as long as it doesn't hinder me, of course. Oh, All right, was... so you're, as long as your charity work doesn't in any way hinder you. Just think about that for a second. Yeah, it's obnoxious, isn't it? Yeah, it's not really charity work, then, you pillock. Um... <laughs> I was completely shocked. Maguru had kept calling me beautiful and asked me to be his lover, but in the end. Yeah, he wants I was... to give me money in exchange. Yeah. Ah, uh, now he's prostitute. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> in the end, I was just another indulgence for this rich man. Okay, I think we should probably call it an episode there. <laughs> um, well, we've basically just suggested that our character turn into prostitution. <laughs> it is basically yeah. how this works, I feel. And, and McGuire seems to think that's the same as, you know, caring for someone, really. Yeah. I care about you so much, I will pay you for your sex. That's... That's just a business transaction. Um, I mean, I'm not opposed to that as a business, as, as, an, as an idea, as a yeah, concept. Yeah, it's just, it's not the same thing as a relationship, no. shall we say? <laughs> anyway, fact, we'll see you over point, on Corpse's really. channel. There will be a link to his channel. Yeah, there'll the probably be more talk of prostitution. There probably will. Bye-bye, everybody. Just, I just feel as I'm not sure if that's a television. Bye-bye, everybody. And is it? Bye. Chalkboard.